Hi drivers, Michael Fox here from CDL College in Commerce City, Colorado, and today I'll be explaining the alley dock maneuver using the faster slower method. This explanation is very straightforward, so stick around. So let's take a look at some dimensions first. Your Class A vehicle is 70 feet long, the alley that you're backing into is 40 feet long and 12 feet wide. There's a bumper box at the back of the alley that is 3 feet deep. The bumper of your trailer should finish within the bumper box boundaries. There's also 70 feet between the forward alley cones and the forward boundary cones. The first step in an alley dock is your setup. I recommend placing your vehicle halfway between the forward alley cones and the forward boundary cones. You'll need at least a full vehicle length between the rear of the trailer and the alley. Make sure that the truck is directly in front of the trailer before you begin to back up. You should also ensure that your vehicle is perpendicular to the alley before you begin backing. Start by turning the steering wheel hard right, which will force the trailer to the left once we begin backing up. When your vehicle is straight and you want to push your trailer to either the left or right, steer in the opposite direction. Back up slowly and stop when you see a foot of landing gear in the driver's side mirror. Notice the small angle between the tractor and the trailer. Now, steer back to center. Begin backing slowly and watch the trailer build angle as it moves toward the alley. Just watch your trailer. Don't steer. There's no need to steer when you're this far away from the alley. When the rear of your trailer disappears from your side mirror, stick your head out of the window because you'll need to see the rear of your trailer throughout this maneuver. When your steer tires are pointed straight ahead, just observe what your trailer is doing. If you start steering all over the place, you're going to create a bunch of problems. When your trailer is 30 to 40 feet from the alley, stop. At this point, you should determine whether your trailer is late, in the alley, or early. If you aren't sure, back up a little more without steering, and it'll become apparent. Once you've determined where your trailer is headed, you should stop and remember this phrase. Right is fast, left is slow. Here's what that means. If you steer to the right, your trailer will move to the left fast. If you steer to the left, your trailer will move to the left slow. So let's assume that you've stopped and determined that your trailer is late. Since your trailer didn't move to the left fast enough, let's speed it up by steering hard right. Back up just a foot or two and stop. Steer back to center. What you just did was add some right to your trailer, which moved your trailer to the left fast. Right is fast. Now begin backing slowly while watching your trailer tires. If you see that your trailer is still late, stop and steer hard right again. Back up a little bit and stop. Steer back to center and begin backing slowly and watching your trailer. Again, when your steer tires are centered, you should just be observing where your trailer is going. The last turn in a driver's side alley dock is always a big left. The left moves the truck back in front of the trailer, which turns the alley dock into a straight back. That left also slows the trailer to the left. Left is slow. If you're wondering when to make this last big left turn, check this out. The amount of angle you have between the truck and trailer will be the determining factor. If you have a lot of angle, you'll want to make that last left turn while the trailer still has a lot of angle relative to the alley. If you have less angle between the truck and trailer, you'll want to make that last left turn when the trailer has less angle relative to the alley. Here's a tip for putting the trailer into the box without encroaching on the outside line of cones. If you see more than two feet between the side of your trailer and the front inside cone, stop and pull forward because you're probably close to encroaching the outside line of cones. So now all that's left to do is put the trailer bumper in the bumper box without encroaching on the back row of cones. Stop short of the bumper box, set the brakes, and put the truck in neutral. Use one of your two free get out and looks to determine how much farther you need to back to put the trailer bumper in the bumper box. The box is defined by the inside edges of the base of the cones. If your trailer is similar to the trailer in this video, you can stop backing when the tandem axles split the third cone from the back. Let's talk about late versus early. It's always better to be late than early. Here's why. When the trailer is late, the driver can simply steer to the right and hop on the arc that leads to the alley. When the trailer is early, it means the driver put a flat spot in the arc to the alley. It'll be impossible to hop on the arc to the alley unless the driver pulls forward. 
So how can you ensure that your trailer will be late every time? Let's go back to the beginning of the video when we created the initial angle between the truck and trailer. We steered hard right and backed up until we saw one foot of the landing gear. This created a small angle that became bigger as we backed up with our steer tire centered. The smaller that initial angle, the more likely your trailer is to be late because you build angles slowly when you begin backing. When you see more than a foot of landing gear, you create a bigger angle which makes your trailer build angle faster as you back up. The faster the trailer moves to the left, the earlier it'll be. Here's another tip. Try to miss the inside front cone by a foot or less. The closer your trailer tires are to the inside front cone, the less you have to worry about the outside line of cones, which you can't see anyway. Hey, I hope this video helps you guys. Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our channel. We're always making new videos. Thanks.